Hey basketball coaches and players, today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite baseline inbounds plays that are super easy that you can run with your team. The first couple are going to be up against a man-to-man -man defense and then we're going to switch over to a couple of different zones. Let's get down and let's check out these baseline inbounds plays. Okay, so this first play is going to have three players. We're going to have our best ball handler right here. We're going to have our best shooter right there. And then we're going to have our best screener here with our best passer and our biggest player here. So what we're going to be having here is player two is going to be setting up a screen for player one. Player one is going to be popping out to the free throw line extended. Player two, what he needs to do is to line up himself so that he can screen player one. Obviously player one is our number one option for this inbounds. At the same time, we're going to be having player four back screen player five who's going to be cutting down the middle of the key. He is our secondary option. At this point, if player one was to get that ball, what I want to see happen is player three to go inbounds, player five is going to be in the low post, player four is cleared out, player three is setting up that screen for player two for the three point shot. At this time I would also want to see player one starting to dribble up top either to run an offense or to pass back to player two because by player one dribbling up top it's going to be shifting the defense this way. Whoops this way anyways so because of that we can get that pass over to player two for a three that's hopefully open or we can set up the offense so this is again against a man-to-man -man defense in this one and what we are going to have is player two setting a screen up for player five and player four setting a screen down for player one Player one is going to be using that screen popping out towards this free throw line extended. And we're going to be having player five pop down or cut down. And we are looking for player three to pass to either player five or to player one. If neither of those options are open, we're going to have player two sprint towards that corner after that screen. And he is our third option to get that ball in. Once it's in, obviously if he's open, he could take that shot, but we're going to be looking to reverse that ball to player one or to set up the offense or have player one set a screen for player two for player two to set up the offense if we have time. So against a 2-3 zone, a lot of the times player five will sag down and defend any passes going towards the key. Now, if that's the case, let him do so. What we're going to have is a very simple player one screening for player three, player four screening for player two, player two popping over here so that player three can pass him the ball. After player one sets that screen, we're going to have player one cut up in line with that key. Player three is going to be popping out the other side over here. What we're going to be doing here is trying to get player one that ball and we can reverse that ball around and have player four, we can just basically set up the offense here, but if you wanna add in a kind of an extra layer of complexity, we can have player four head over towards this side play the high post, player one reverses that ball, this is going to be now stretching out that defense, and now we're going to be having player two cut across towards that block, we're going to have player three pass down, of course this could be an open shot, and now player five and four will overload that side, and now at this point we're going to have somebody open usually it's going to be the high post for a high to low pass or for a shot again this is an extra layer of complexity that's not so simple but that first option to set up the offense is so this next inbounds is actually one of my favorites so what we're going to have is player five setting the screen down for player two player four is going to be setting a screen up for player two or for player one on player two Player one is going to be cutting out towards this corner, which is going to stretch out player three. If player four is open, or player one I mean is open, obviously hit him up with a pass. But what we're looking for is player four rolling off of that screen 
and then being open for the shot. That's our number one option. But with this screen on the other side, we're having player two come up and around to this free throw line extended because what's going to happen is if player two red goes down to try and defend four, we now have player two wide open for a three point shot or to set up the offense. Now you will very rarely see a 3-2 zone happen in a baseline inbounds which is why I am now changing this over to a 2-1-2 where the five will guard the key player three and one will guard this side four and two will guard that side having player five stretch the full distance now against this one what's going to happen is we're gonna have player one set a screen on player three and player four is going to be popping out at the same time I want to see player two setting a screen on player one and having player five cut towards the basket in front of this player now what's going to happen here we want that ball to go to player four What's going to happen now is player two is going to be popping out. And of course, if player four is able to get that ball to player two, we want that to happen. At this time, player five is going to be setting a screen with player one, one still screening for player three, who's going to be popping up towards the point. Now at this point, what we can have is our, our team to set up an offense or we can go and have player five still screening for player one who can then pop up top and hopefully set up the offense. At this point, you're going to be having the defense switch like this. And at this point, we can now swing the players over towards that side and do an overload on the opposite side so that now we can score the quick basket. My camera just died, so I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. Go check out the next video in one of these two corners that YouTube thinks that you are going to enjoy and if you haven't already hit the like or the, I mean the subscribe button in one of those boxes as well.